Right, hello there everyone, welcome back to James Redman TV and welcome to another Redmond Roundup. Um, this is going to be as an unbalanced, basically just dissecting Biff a bit of what's going on with Liverpool right now in terms of the transfer business, in terms of the ins and in terms of the outs. Thiago has just received, or Liverpool have just received a bid for Thiago for 12 million, that's one news. We have just bid for Moises Caicedo, wild according to, I think it's Matty Law or something, I don't know if he's reliable or not but... Might be a cool dude. Um, Lavia, we don't know what's going on with Lavia. But now we're in for multiple midfielders. We've got to dissect this because obviously we're all very upset with the, the Lavia bid that came in from Chelsea and the fact we even allowed that to happen if it was a priority target. But then you sit there and you say, well, OK, then, well, what if Caicedo was the one we wanted all along? But to get Caicedo, we needed Lavia to go to Chelsea. I think that's a very optimistic way of thinking. I think that it would be quite brave to think that way. It would be some 3D chess that's being played there, but it's also risky. And again, you know, it contradicts a few things. Like, we want all of our signings before pre-season. That didn't happen. And uh, now it looks like we're going to miss out on a priority target in Lavia. Cry crap. So even if we're going out and putting a higher bid than Chelsea, and by the way, the bid hasn't been specified. And I still need to see more sources clarify if this bid actually came through or not from Liverpool's side. But if we're bidding for Moises Caicedo, as intriguing as that is, and as exciting as that is, and I wouldn't mind Moises Caicedo, I think him and McAllister could build a beautiful partnership. What we know is that he wants Brighton, uh, sorry, he wants Chelsea more. He wants to go there, he wants to get the big wages that you'll get offered to Chelsea, and he's very much up for that move, opposed to anything else. Lavia wants Liverpool more than anything else. So as much as I'll sit there and say I don't mind Caicedo, I don't think there's too much of a difference between both players. And we're paying double for Caicedo, but maybe, and, and I will get Caicedo if this was the case, if Jürgen Klopp prioritised Caicedo as his sign, then I'd do it. But this is really interesting because, of course, last night, we're there seeing Chelsea going and bid 48 million for Lavia. And now we're looking like we could be in a situation where we're in a bidding war with Chelsea for Lavia and we could end up paying more than what's actually being suggested by Southampton. And we have free reign for four weeks to go and get him. Now, Caicedo is being linked. Thiago's being linked away. I don't, I don't sell Thiago. I don't sell Thiago in any world. I think we need depth. And even if he is our fourth or fifth choice midfielder, you use him as options because he's still the best out of all the midfielders that we've got. Even if he only plays once every three games, that's like Luis Suarez playing once every three games at striker. It's not bad, is it? You take Luis Suarez once in every three games. Same way I'm taking Thiago once every three games. Because if you're not heavily reliant on him, he's a great player. But let's say we did sell him because Al Hilal have offered 12 million. So if he goes, that now means we would have to get at least two or three. Now, again, I wouldn't do this, but imagine just somehow if we got Caicedo and Lavia. Chelsea would not let that happen in any world, and FSG are not that ballsy. So I'm not trying to look into this Caicedo bit as too much. I don't know if it's to get Chelsea back in to the race with Lavia. Maybe that's a thing. Liverpool were in for Lavia. Basically, personal terms agreed. Wanted to try and get a little bit of a decent fee. Then Chelsea come in for Lavia. Okay, then, well, we're going to go in for your dude. We're going to put a higher bid than what you did. Let's see what you do now. So have we put in a bid that we're happy to let go of for, La uh, for Caicedo? Let's say if it was 85... Let's say it's 90 million. Let's say we get Caicedo for 90 million and we put a bid on the table for 90 million. We're quite clearly happy to let that money go just so we can bring in Caicedo. So then it makes you question, did we want Lavia all along or was it a ploy to try and really insert ourselves into these Caicedo conversations? Because we knew Chelsea was linked with both, and we know we wanted both. So what does that mean now for Chelsea? Do they just pursue Lavia, or do they go ahead and keep pursuing Caicedo? Which, for a while there, you know, Chelsea have been in a similar boat. They've been very happy to bring in Caicedo, and Caicedo's wanted to go to Chelsea, like Lavia with us. But the price tag is what they haven't met Brighton with, and that's the thing that's kind of halting the deal, which has allowed us to swoop in. So they swoop in on our player, now we're swooping in on theirs. It's interesting, and I don't know what to do uh, to do with this. I don't know what to make of this. Uh, and for those saying Caicedo is significantly better than Lavia, that's fine if you have a preference. But I think a lot of people just think this because they've maybe, you know, um, seen Caicedo in the news and he's been linked with a lot more big teams and his valuation is double of what it was, um, you know, of what Lavia's is. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, Arsenal nearly signed him in January and all these things. So that's why I think Caicedo is someone who 
don't get me wrong, there's bits that I like, but then there's bits that I don't like. He seems a little bit desperate. He seems that he'd leave the club at the first opportunity. I don't know, I'm not saying Lavia wouldn't, but Lavia hasn't shown those same signs. And I, I, I like Lavia. There's a lot of things I like about him. I don't think it should be ridiculous to ask for both. I don't think it's ridiculous to ask for both. That would be amazing. That would be like exceeding my expectations if we went and got both players because they're both defensive minded. So I wouldn't mind that. But then I do mind the fact that we took it this long and we're taking this long and you're just playing a huge risk of getting none. You know, I, I mentioned about how we're playing a risk of Chelsea swooping in and getting Lavia. And then now I'm mentioning the risk about how we could end up getting to deadline day with no more players, with just Sobo and McAllister, which is fine. But you've addressed one area of the pitch. You've addressed the, addressed the top heavy part. So in recent years, we got Diaz, we got Gakpo. Now we got Sobo and McAllister. Okay, front half of the pitch is fine. Now you're forgetting and, and neglecting the second half of the pitch. And slowly but surely, we're becoming a banter club again. Because if you think about it, you know, the transfers are poor. On the pitch stuff is poor. Off the pitch stuff, only embarrassing things. And our owners are probably the worst in the league. And I'll I'll put them in that conversation. I'll definitely give them a shout. I think they're fucking terrible owners. I really do. I just, I, I, even if they went out and got Caicedo and Lavia, I'll stand by that. But yeah, And that's not because I'm digging me, digging me heels in, but just two transfers out of, you know, the over the 12 years that they've been here. Uh, no, that's not going to change my mind on all the negative stuff that they've done. But, uh, you know, it's a step in the right direction, which I'm more than happy to concede. And, I'm I'm interested to know what you think. Do you, would you rather get Caicedo for double the money than Lavia? I'd rather Lavia to be honest. Um, you know, half the money, and I don't think there's too much of a quality difference. I think they have their stylistic differences, but then that's why if you can't afford both, then you go out and get whoever the like for like for Caicedo is. And if you can't find that dude, then find what would be the second alternative that you'd want, and keep going from there. But let me know what you all think about it. I think it's interesting, and I think if the window keeps going the way that it's going. We could be in for many more twists and turns. Who knows? We might even end up with a centre-back, but I'm not going to be losing my hope. And I thought it was just going to be interesting to address this video to you and to address this news to you because it does seem to be spicing up more and more by the day. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments. What do you think FSG are trying to do here? That's the main thing I want to talk about in this video. Are they trying to use Lavia as a ploy to get Caicedo or vice versa? What are they doing? What was the strategy all along? And was there a method to the madness? I don't think there was. I think they've just got themselves into a tough position. Because even journalists sound fucking confused. And their source is the football club. So if the football club aren't giving them anything, then the football club probably don't even know what's going on themselves. Which means we're in a bit of a clusterfuck right now. Uh, however, we've got to try and make something happen. Because they know if they don't try and make something happen, they're in big shit. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Smash a like. Subscribe. Welcome back to JRTV. And I'll see you all later. Peace.